My name is Giselle Andrade Camargo. I am a student at Fresno State and I am a fourth year. My major is Criminology and um, Forensic Behavioral Science. I joined SQE when I was a freshman. So SQE is um, a short for Student Quality Education. So the purpose of SQE is to help students advocate their student rights, including um, any student violations of their rights also, we redirect students to any resources that they're not aware of. So CFA is short for California Faculty Association. Um, CFA coordinates SQE, so we help each other. They're a faculty union on campus, so they help faculty and staff members on campus for their rights to not be violated as well. Uh, so that would include working rights and getting their health resources or any resources that includes with their work environment. The thing I enjoy talking about most is how to help students get the rights that they have and get the, the necessary items that they need. So helping a st another fellow student makes my job more enjoyable because I love helping people. My name is Tanya Acosta. I am a senior at Fresno State and I'm currently a student intern with SQE. So we recently had a really huge event happen at Fresno State where a Republican group with ties to white nationalists came to our campus at Fresno State April 1st and there was a huge pro counter protest that was going on at Fresno State. I was there too just to photograph and video everything just to have that part of the event documented so that you know Fresno State is allowing people who bring transphobia, homophobic, discriminatory ideas and, and speeches to come here and spew their hatred among our community. And that is really problematic because we want our students to feel safe on our campuses. And, it's, and allowing people and organizations to come here and speak hatred against other groups of people is not the way to do that to ensure our safety and trust among our community at Fresno State and it's a shame that we had to go through this that there was you know provoking happening at the protest there was intimidation there was provoking happening here and it felt threatening and the pre their presence is a mere threat and it makes us feel unsafe and there are a lot of things that can happen during these times A couple of challenges we tend to face, or I faced myself, is um, interacting with close-minded people at times because it's really hard to express and advocate uh, for students, especially when it comes into a political standard because everything relies in politics. So there can be like the danger, like those close-minded people who tend to be very radical and can like try to attack your image. Like, well, the danger is, well, protest, you, obviously you can get arrested. That is one. Um, a second one's like, you, well, coming with police, you can get pepper sprayed if you don't get arrested and like you can get pushed around or the other people you're protesting against can try to attack you or push you around. Um, some cases like I heard that like, they follow you and they try to harass you a lot. So there is 
a, a lot of dangers of harassment because you're also protesting, you're advocating, you're doing all these things to change, um, you know, things that rights are being violated and trying to change the wrong to good. And it's very hard to do that, especially when there there's a lot of people against you and then there's a few people who want to join. As a student, I go through a lot um, in this position. I've been working with this position for two years and I've had a lot of moments where I felt unsafe, you know, attending protests, um, doing the work that we do. We catch an eye for white supremacy to really infiltrate and try to dox us and track us and harass us and follow us. So that's always a dangerous presence that we ultimately can come across and sadly myself and many other interns have experienced that you know as organizers who are against white supremacy and racism and transphobia all these things it's just it's just bound to happen sadly that we're going to come across people who hate us for being who we are um, for looking the way we look and it's just really it really does take a toll on us um, and I just want us to really reach a moment or a time that we can all really just get along and respect each other and, and accept each other for who we are but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen anytime soon at least. Um, there's a lot of stress that comes with this position a lot of the moments in these protests that happen it just it just feels it feels like sometimes all our efforts aren't making a difference because I feel like if we change one person's mind you know three more people on the other side are gonna come out of the darkness and tell us that we're you know we're going to hell or we're sinning we are doing everything wrong and that we deserve to die and it's just very scary sometimes because they can be, it can become very threatening or life-threatening to people. People get into altercations, even physical at times. Um, we see a lot of things happen during protests and, and, and events that can really strike a nerve in people and make them act out. And um, it just, it feels sometimes like a toll or like weight is on you when you when you're working in this line of work in this line of work you do feel that weight that not a lot of people will experience um or go through these experiences firsthand and um it's important to really know what it's like firsthand listening to our stories really getting into the works of it um why we do it how and what things we can face are a risk to our lives and our safety ultimately but I know in the end, like, it does make a difference and we just have to do our best to keep our sanity and keep each other safe.